Hey, hey everyone, Carlo Pix here, and today I thought I'd do a bit of Chinese knotting. <laughs> so I will be making a pen chain knot. So it's gonna look like this. Um, pretty cool looking knot, makes a great uh, keychain or just a hanging or an addition to some jewelry. Kind of a nice charm. Um, but you know, it does have a bit of a deeper meaning than just a charm. But yeah, gonna make one of these today. Um, so I've got this um, pretty nifty mat. It's not mine, but uh, borrowed it from my partner's mom. And uh, it's like a cushion pin board. So, and it's got this nifty little side tray for the pins. And the pins are just used to hold the cording in place so that you know where to weave and stuff like that. So the cord I'll be working with, um, you saw the pink before, but now I'm going to be using green, like satin cord. And of course you can get this at any craft shop. And yeah, so I've um, cut a piece off, um, folded it in half and then made a little knot, an overhand knot at the top. So yeah, let's, let's get to making this knot. I use a lot of pins for this, but I'm sure um, if you've made these a lot of times or, you know, if you just have good memory skills, you won't need to use as many pins as I do. <laughs> Now, I've burned the ends of my um, satin cord, but you know, just to make them so they don't fray. But uh, they do normally suggest that you use nail polish on the ends, which would probably be better and not turn your satin cord black at the ends. So. Yeah. so, yeah, this mess is the weaving layout for the panting knot. So, from here is where you start to tighten things. Like, I've only made this knot a few times, but they, they come out so pretty. And this is what takes the longest part, is tightening the knot. Because you have to do it in small steps. And it's quite... It's a little on the tedious side. I mean, it doesn't take that long, but yeah, it's not... You do have to be, you know, mindful and careful. And that's it. That is the panjang knot complete. Um, you can, like these open loops on the side here, you can decide um, how big or how small you want them. I guess I should probably even that up a bit, but yeah, the, it's, like I said, looking at it, like for the when you're doing it for the first time, it looks ridiculously difficult but after you've made one then you're like oh yeah not too bad um so the more you make the easier it gets of course like with anything but yeah so you can then add this like i said to just about anything um i left a nice little loop here so i can attach it as a keychain but you can attach you can tie this off at the bottom and then attach a tassel. You can do so many things with this. So many creative, crafty things with this. But yeah, bring some good luck and longevity to someone you know. And that's the Panjang knot. And it's quite a different look depending on what color you go for. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.